What's up guys, welcome back to the Raiding Climb. Today we're going to 1750, hopefully, assuming we win some games. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into a game. And here white, let's play E4. All right, let's go with the usual, Bishop C4. All right, we're gonna play the gambit, so d4. So black has two options. This is not a good move, because the knight gets kind of trapped after we take back. It doesn't have a good retreat square. d6. So there's a tactic here that I've seen before where you sacrifice the bishop, and then you can take the queen. And I believe that's gonna be what we wanna do. Could also trade queens and then take the pawn because there's this little bishop b4 at the end. But either way, either way, it should be good for us. So that, wow. Okay, wasn't expecting that move. Not expecting that move. So usually when you play these types of openings, you always want to be looking for tactics on the f7 pawn, right? So can I take this and fork these pieces? Yes. Um, but I could also just play queen d5 immediately which a lot of times in these situations is the better way to do it because how does black defend this? I guess there's queen h4. I'm pretty sure that's not good for black. Let's see what other moves do we have. I'm thinking about queen f3, but there's d5, so that doesn't really make any sense. So probably queen d5 is the move here. Hitting both of these, and I think black would be forced to play queen h4. g3 even would probably be a good move. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be good for black. So I'm trying to just make sure that I'm not missing anything. But it looks like queen d5 is going to be a, a killer move here. Look, let's go queen d5. How's my day? It's going well. Thank you guys for asking. Yesterday was a rough day, and then today's been much better, so. I'm kind of going like that, but I, like I said before, I feel like the, the ups and downs are sort of in an upward trend, so that's the good news. And I've also been figuring out a bunch of stuff, just health-wise, too, so. Discord notifications are on? They're, that's very possible. <laughs> Actually very possible. Okay, so, I mean, this looks like it's a free piece. There is d5, which is a fork, which is kind of interesting. I guess black could win back a piece that way. Interesting. I mean, worst case, we can just... Sacrifice and get a pawn. But I'm also thinking of some some sort of... What a weird position. It's so weird. Well, pretty sure we have to take this. Does any other move make sense? Any other move makes sense? This one I don't think is going to be as good. Because then it looks like black's... Well, hmm, maybe I could do that first. Let's play knight here. Takes d5. Do I have any moves? There's bishop check, but there's always going to be c6. What would I do after that? I don't know. All right, we're going to go ahead and take the piece. Black's going to go here. The, easy, the easiest thing might be to just take it and just say, okay, I'm up a pawn. And I'm happy with that. Could also go here, and then I get this one. Doesn't really do much for me, though, because the knight just comes here, and then I'm going to get chased around with the, the rook. Don't really like that as much, I don't think. Hmm. Very interesting. I could also go here and after c6, just move my queen at that point. And then I get this pawn. Knight's going to come to c6. Either way, black actually does get a little bit of development. Interesting opening by our opponent here. I don't think I've ever seen this before. wonder if there was a move that I missed or if it's just some sort of weird gambit where black just gives up a pawn. All right, well, I don't want to think too long here, so I think what I'm going to do is just probably just take this, and after the bishop takes, 
Let me just move my queen over to g4 to defend this. There is h5, and if I go back h4, and if I go up here, that's probably okay. Could also just go here, put the queen here, allow that, play knight c3, try to attack. No, I don't really like that as much. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're thinking too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with this line and come over here to defend this. Seems like maybe I missed something, but not sure what it was. Okay, we're going to go back here. Like I mentioned, I could also go to H3. Then I wouldn't get chased around with the pawn again, but I'm not sure that I really mind. So yeah, I think I would rather my queen be here, because it defends this as well. In this move, that pawn's probably going to become a weakness, I would think. Bishop g5, knight f3, something like that, so I think we're okay with this. Yeah, it's a good move by our opponent, just developing, putting some pressure there. Whenever you, you see a knight come out, you always want to ask yourself what's going to happen if it just keeps going forward. But I do want to pay attention to this. Looks like, um, let's see, I'm thinking knight here or here to control this square. And if the knight goes here, we would always have knight to a3 to defend. That looks pretty solid, so maybe knight here. I guess I could play knight f3, because if the capture happens, well, then I lose this pawn. Probably don't want to lose that right now. Knight here, maybe? What else can we do? Yeah, I think that's... But I want to keep this knight to play knight a3 if I need to defend this. Well, let's go here. Do I look at the chat when thinking about your moves? No, not usually. I usually look at the chat in between moves. Okay, now he goes here. Uh, interesting, trying to get the pawn, but let's see. We might have a tactic here. Let's see. So let's say... Let's say we just go queen g4. The knight captures. And maybe there's not anything. Okay. So how do we want to do this? Queen h3. Give that up and then just castle. Play knight c3. About four. Or we give this pawn. I don't really want to give that pawn up. No, I think we will go here. The black's going to take the pawn. And then I guess we just castle and start thinking about this. What else could we do? Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and castle. And I want to try to take advantage of this since black is not castling and the king is still in the center. We might be able to do this. Now they're probably going to play bishop b7. No, bishop c5. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. Do we have... First of all, what happens if I go here? It's a fork, but it's pretty easy for black to deal with. They could just go back. It's probably not good enough. Go here. It looks like there should be some sort of something. All these pieces, two of them are hanging. Maybe I can't. The rookie one, I don't know what black's gonna do. Are they gonna castle? Seems weird with the age pawn up here. I have three minutes, I gotta move faster. I'm like really thinking through everything, huh? All right, let's, um, yeah, let's go rookie one. Does castle. Interesting move. So this is a target now. Let's go ahead and play knight c3. I just want to get some pieces out and play some quick moves here. Pretty far behind on time. 
opening kind of threw me off there. Okay. Let's go bishop f4. Now we can bring this rook over. I'm guessing the knight's going to go back to g6. I'm not really worried. Maybe I should be worried about the bishop pair. Now, I think if I get both rooks to the center before black does, that's going to be pretty good. Although these bishops are pretty strong, so I do have to be careful. I do have to be careful. Let's say knight g6, we slide the rook over, this gets traded. Where does the queen go? Here or here? I don't have to let the knight trade. I can also go here. I'm going to go ahead and, and say that my rooks are going to be, you know, active enough to kind of counteract. Normally, the two bishops are going to be much better than the two knights in an open position like this. But in this case, I have the two rooks, which are going to allow my knights to do something. Yeah, like we might be able to just jump in here. Now, I am going to lose a pawn, but it's, it feels like my knights are positioned to maybe attack the king. So I think I'm going to go for that. I could also go here. Takes, takes. I could even go this way. Hmm, I wonder if that's better. Oh no, then I'm losing this. I can't do that. All right, we gotta go this way. If we lose this over here, that's fine. I think we'll focus on maybe attacking the king. Okay. Oh, he's gonna trade and then take this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, maybe it's not as bad as it looks because I can play king h1. Hmm. Could also take here, takes, takes. Do I like that end game though? Hmm. Maybe it's not too bad actually. Pawn second thought. He takes here though and then takes tonight. I'm just losing a pawn. I have pretty active rooks. All right. Let me actually do this. I'm, I'm gonna give this up. Put my king over here. And. See if we can attack the king somehow. I don't know exactly how yet. We can go there. No, we can't. Hmm. 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 Wow. All right. Oof. I don't know what to do here. I think we're just losing. Like, I don't even have any good ideas in this position. I really don't. Can't move the knight because this is attacked. I'm going to lose another pawn over here. Only chance is if we can somehow make a safe place for the king and then use the rook, but... Black's going to have to really mess up, I think. Maybe knight g5 is an idea, but it's pretty easy to deal with. I want to play h3, but that's... Hmm. Yeah, we got to play h3 so that we can move the rook. We can't get back rank mated. That's, that's a big problem. So I think h3 is going to be my next move. 
Like I said, this is real easy for black to deal with. We can almost get a perpetual here. If like the queen moves, that's a, no, it's not a perpetual anymore. Hmm. H4. Okay. Now we can at least move the rook. I just don't know where to move it to. Check there, check H4. I don't know if it's good enough. I don't think so, but trying to get to the king, we can get a perpetual here. We had time to bring the rook up, but we don't have time. Got to keep the pin. Black can attack me, but I can always go back. Oh, there's queen of four. Ooh. No, but I could trade first and take here. Still probably losing. Go here first. That's a good move. I can't take it. I go here. Yeah. Not much to do here. Yeah. Hmm.
Good game. Our opponent played pretty well. Let's check the game review. Got to update the losses. All right, let's see what happened here. 72, 65, yeah, so pretty poorly played played game on my part. So let's see, where did we go wrong? I, I'm sure we had a great position in the beginning. Sure of it. Yeah, so not a good move. Okay, let's see. Queen d5. Totally missed it here. What was the move? It was queen takes b7. Hmm. So you give this up because then you take the rook and you're still attacking the knight. And you're just up in exchange and even though black has some pieces out, they don't really have an attack. Okay. Yeah, so I missed that. But even here, yeah, I just totally went for the wrong approach. Okay. Let's see here. Why was this the blunder? Knight to d3. Hmm. Yeah, and then black just played really well from here, although it was pretty straightforward. I mean, I didn't have a great position. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. I don't know why I played this move. I don't know. I am pressure, I guess. Okay, so this is a good example. Let's We can learn something from this. So, right here... Sometimes, sometimes when you're in a good position, you can actually overthink it and then end up like not playing a good move. And that's exactly what happened here. I was like, I don't know. Do I take this? Do I take this? Do I, you know, what do I do? Same thing here. What do I do? Right. I spent two minutes almost. I mean, that's just way too long. So just a good example of like, even when you're in a good position, you can still overthink it and just mess it up. And that's exactly what happened here. Sometimes when I play faster and just kind of go with my instincts, I actually, not only do I save time, but I find better moves too. And the opposite of that, when you overthink everything, uh, is, is kind of what happened here. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully we can learn from that. All right, let's let's go for another game. Allowing queen takes f2 was bad. Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. You'll subscribe if I win a game with the Alakine's defense. Okay. Sure. Challenge accepted. And no, I don't know anything about this opening, so. Here we go. I mean, I know, I know a little bit. I know you go over here and you come back here and then you do some other stuff, but other than that... I don't really know too much. Um, I think d6 is a move here. So you, I think you like go here and then somehow try to like put pressure. I don't know if you're supposed to play c5 or something like that. Yeah, well, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Play Alakine defense and I sub. Okay. There you go. I should have one more subscriber when I check my subscriber count later. <laughs> okay, so can I, if I go back here, am I gonna get into trouble? Is this like a trap? Because I have no idea. I have no idea if it's a trap. Looks like it could be kind of trappy, honestly. No, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. I have too many escape routes for my king, I think. There's no way. And the only piece white would have would be the queen in this pawn. Yeah, okay. So now I'm just going to take here and take here and have a nice position, I think, right? Yeah, I'm not going to overthink this one. I'm just going to go with my instincts. My instincts just tell me, like, that's what you should do. So you just take it, trade the queens, and black is already probably a little better. Oh, queen f3, going for the checkmate. Actually, it's not checkmate, but almost. Um, 
All right, so we probably don't want to allow that. And by probably, I mean we don't want to allow that. Didn't see that one. Good move, I guess, because he can still take here. All right, so we're going to play e6. Shut that down. And, I mean, we can still... Yeah, this is still fine. We have a lot of things happening here. I don't know how White's going to deal with that. I think our position looks pretty solid, actually. I'm going to do some leg, some leg stretches while I win this game. Okay, so he's defending that, but he's leaving knight to d4. Is that a good move? Bada bing, bada boom. Or we could just develop a piece. I'm very tempted to say that's a good move. Um, queen's going to move somewhere. We could get the bishop pair, which is not bad. Or we could save it for later. Let's save it for later. Let's just develop bishop. Knight to h3. Interesting move. I'm going to go in now. Same kind of idea. We'll probably trade this off. I'm going to put pressure on the queen. Yeah, I'll probably trade this off. Then we'll have this square we can use maybe for our queen. Maybe we can even do this with the bishop. Line up over here. All those things look pretty good. This is a move too, but I don't know. Pretty easy to deal with, bishop g3, but then we could come over here. Ah, queen g4, interesting. So white wants to come down here. We could play knight f5, would be one move, to defend that. Or we could trade and then deal with it later, but I kind of like knight f5, just uh, defending, and then maybe h5 to kick the queen away. Let's do that, looks pretty good. Let's make sure there's no tactics. Checking quickly. I don't see any. Let's go knight f5. h5, I think. I don't want to leave the queen just sit. I mean, I could leave the queen just sit there. Hmm. Maybe now's the time to put the bishop here and go over this way. Also, queen h4, queen e7, if we have to move the queen. I don't want to leave the bishop sit here forever, so let's actually start that process. Okay, knight might be, maybe wants to come in here. We could stop that with bishop c6. I do like the look of that. And, of course, I want to make sure I have a, a square for my queen when the rook comes over. I see two options, so I'm happy with that. Let's go here. Taking away the uh, e4 square. Kind of important. Okay, as I said, let's see. Here or here, which one do we want to do? Do I want to trade queens? Yeah, I think it's probably fine. Yeah, I'm happy with the queen trade, so let's go ahead. I like my position. Sometimes these advanced pawns, when you trade queens, can actually be a, a weakness, like a target. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm okay with this. We do have an immediate threat here that white has to deal with. I'm not ex actually... How do they deal with that? They don't. I don't know how they were going to defend it, though, because this was pinned, so you can't block. Interesting. So now we just get a free pawn. Which way do I want to take it is the question. We get the bishop. We hit the knight. Where does the knight move to? The knight has to move here. Let me play h6. Where does the knight move to? It could go here because this guy, so the knight would jump here. Okay. We could play h6 right now, actually. Then we would be trapping the knight. Or I just take it with the knight in the first place and hit this. Kind of like the idea of h6, though. Because I still see that white can't defend that. And then the knight would be trapped. Also, I could play g5, which looks like a useful move. Okay. So now there's a place for the knight to go. But in this case, I think we just trade. Double isolated pawns, very weak, good targets. And now we probably just take with the knight and hit this guy, right? And that's tempting too. Hmm, yeah, we'll, we'll take with the knight. Okay. 
go ahead and put some pressure here. I'm expecting maybe e4, but then I'm gonna start hopping my knight around. I could go back here, or I could jump in here over to here, potentially. Rook to d4, we could do a bunch of trades. Pretty good, this also looks pretty good, yeah. So, which one's better? Rook's gonna go to d4, otherwise I can hop over here, probably. The rook goes to d3, I can also hop over here and hit this. Ooh, that looks like another pawn, okay. Same thing happens here, but this way, sort of gains a tempo on the rook, I guess. It is gonna give white the option to double up, but what I've noticed about that is even if white gets two rooks lined up, I can simply play king e7, and then I can always trade, and there's no infiltration squares for the rook. See that? So I'm I'm pretty comfortable with that. So yeah, we could go this way and win a pawn, or we could go this way and win a pawn. When I look at these two pieces, am I happy with the trade? Um, because I'm up some pawns, I'm, I think I'm happy with the trade. Really, they're both not great pieces, but generally speaking, the, the bishop is going to be more powerful. So yeah, I think I will do that to uh, allow the trade here if white wants it. Of course, they could just leave it, but my plan is basically the same. Okay, that's what I thought. And so here we go. I don't see how white's gonna defend that. Oh, we snagged the pawn. Three, four, five, three, six, seven. Yeah, so we're just up two clear pawns. And now we can trade it down and should be an easy win. Okay. We could castle, we could push the pawn up. I think I will play g5. Um, I like that it shuts down the knight a little bit, takes away some squares, also shuts down the rook. And th this weakness that it creates, I can defend easily, and also the knight can't even go in there, so pretty pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and play king here. Now it's time to just trade some rooks, or at least get control of the file. Did your blood, did your blood clot recover, I think is what you were trying to say. Um, not yet but um, we're working on it. Am working on it. Chess Adventures, It's it'll come back one day. One day. So why am I trading? Because I'm up two pawns. There's no way I'm gonna lose an end game up two pawns, so trading is, is gonna be beneficial for me. Probably gonna bring this rook over here and just get on the open file. Just following basic principles. I'm probably going to play... Oh, F5 maybe was a good move right there. Because it's pinned. Yeah, I probably should have played that right away. It's still going to be a good move, but... Yeah, it's okay. So we can still... Still do that. Taking advantage of the pin. And we might even just push by and get the pawns rolling. Or... Take this. Oh, well, that's... Mm, that's a blunder. So here we go. And good game to our opponent. Interesting to me sometimes when I play um, different players. Not, not that this person played bad, but I just felt like the last opponent was like so much stronger. You know, I don't know if that's because I lost, but I don't know. It's just like same rating, but yeah. One of those things. Okay. Um, let's go here. Attack the pawn. My brain woke up a bit. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Could be. Could be. All right. So I see a tactic here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bam. So let's go ahead. Drain everything off. Yes. Okay. Hey, thank you for the super chatter sticker. Whatever that is. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. All right. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep taking this stuff. Hey, you subscribed because I played the Alakine. All right. <laughs> cool. 
Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. All right, let's trap the knight. Look at that. It's gone. We can come over here and take it if we want. Don't have to. We could also just do this. Probably will take it. Just, I don't know, because we can. All right, I'm going to take this moment to stretch my legs while our opponent is thinking, stalling, or disconnecting. I'm not sure. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are, still waiting. Okay. Well, maybe this is a good time to mention member goal there. Um, haven't gotten any yet, so it's okay. It's all right. We got time. Oh, man. Got quite a few points to go though to get to uh, 1750 at this rate. Oh, there it is. There it is. My wife gonna do more videos? Yeah, she is. She is. It's not gonna be like every, you know, all the time, every week, but yeah, when she can, she'll do some. She's trying to learn and, and get better, so. My opponent is stretching their legs too. <laughs> and they reconnected. All right. Fun times. Fun times. They're cooking rice. Yeah, they should have started cooking the rice a little bit sooner, I think. I think it's a little bit a little bit late for the rice to save him now. Gives me more time to stretch my legs, so that's the good, the good news. How do you become a member? Um, there should be like a join button somewhere. Like usually, it's right by the subscribe, except it's it says join. I think. If I'm wrong, somebody can tell me, but I'm fairly certain that's how you do it. Wait. What just happened? Did anybody else see that? What is ha- Am I the only one that saw that, or did you guys see that it was like 28 seconds, and then it jumped up to like 32 seconds? 
and then it froze and then it like jumped down to 18 seconds. Did anybody see that? You saw it too. Yes. It's always a nice feeling when you find out that you're not going crazy. Isn't that isn't that just a good feeling? Okay. I don't even want to review that game after that. I just want to play a new one. Is that okay with everybody? Is that okay? Can we just can we just jump right into a new game? Because I've been waiting so long. What is happening? Is chess.com crashing right now? Uh-oh. Why can't I click on the new 10 minute button? Wait a minute. I can click on rematch, I can click on analysis, I can click on game review, but I can't, can't click on new 10 minute game. For real? But I can click on play over here. No, I can't. No, I can't, I can't do it. Like grayed out. Oh, there it is. We're back. Okay, we're back. We're playing the sideways person. All right. All right. Oh, E6. One of these French players. All right. All right. Oh, he's going to play the hippo, probably. I remember. I'll tell you guys a little story. I remember one time. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's going to, like, go here and here and here. Mm -hmm. He's going to go like this and like this and like this and like this. I remember one time. I said, self, um, how do we beat this? And I plugged it into Stockfish, and I'm pretty sure it did something like this. It put like three pawns, and then it developed a bunch of pieces. And at some point, it castled, and then it like shoved F5 forward. I'm pretty sure that's what it did. So like, let's, I think it was like here. I think it was castling. Oh, he's playing D5. That's not what I was expecting. He played like the normal thing. I was pretty sure it was like castling in F5. Now, this is different. Hey, DRR, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I get to update my, my member goal. 10 out of 20. Awesome. Appreciate you. Okay, what's going on? Now it's like a French defense, but with some random moves thrown in here. I mean, this still can't be good. We're going to continue with the plan. The stockfish told me. Castling. Um, yeah, what 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 is going on? All right, this is. right, I'm glad this happened because now we can talk about it. What do you do when somebody does some crazy stuff like this? Number one thing, you don't like panic in the sense like, oh, I have to win like right now. Like, no, it's okay. Take your time, develop your pieces, get your king safe, and then start to think through what, like, what do you have going for you in the position? So what do I have going for me in the position? I have three pieces developed and I'm castled. My opponent has one piece. So what does that tell me? I don't want to play a move like E5, even though that might be okay, because that just totally locks up the position. And it gives him time to like untangle and figure out something. I want to like just blow it open as quickly as I can, if possible, and try to checkmate the king, even if I have to sacrifice a piece to do it. So I'm thinking the move's got to be f5. Even if I lose a pawn here, I don't care. I just want to go checkmate the king. I'm going to just play it. I'm, this is like another one of those moments. I'm going to go with my instinct. My instinct is telling me to take this, honestly. And sacrifice a piece because I'm I'm coming to get the king. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna just do that. Did I calculate everything? No, I'm basically saying, look, even if I lose a piece, who cares? I'm gonna bring the king out, and he has no pieces out. Hey, welcome. Oh, I can't even say that. That doesn't look like it's English. H, welcome H. Uh, again, look at the weaknesses. Right, look at this. Look at this. I'm probably going to play... Oh, I can't play there because this move. Mm, too bad. I really wanted to play 95 right now. I can't do it. Would have been a great idea. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take this. So, um, I guess we could take with the bishop and continue to threaten that or the knight and then have some additional threats here. They both look pretty, pretty powerful. We'll take with the knight. Just because it gives the knight a lot more options. I think that's, that's the way to go. Okay, he's attacking here. King is very weak. We have diagonals over here. We have the rook lined up. I really want to play 95. I just can't because of this guy. So I'm thinking the move is going to be c3 to really just defend that from this queen move. I guess I could also play king h1 as another way to get out of that check. Um, but c3 looks like it makes a lot of sense to start with. So we're going to take time to do that. And now the threat is knight to e5. Unleashes the queen. The knight can now start to hop in. And it does not look good for, for our opponent. 
Mm, and they might leave trying to castle. So this is maybe a critical moment where we need to do something ideally quickly. Yeah, I still think knight to e5 looks pretty good. Oh, wait a second. Wait, does this actually work? Takes, takes, check. Oh, that's a nice tactic. I can't play knight e5. Oh, no, I can. If they go here, I just ignore it and I play queen h5 and I win the game. All right, I can't do it. But they're not going to do that. They're going to castle. I'm sure of it. They're going to castle. And then do it. What do I, what's my follow-up going to be? What is my follow-up going to be? I can just play something like bishop f4. Just kind of... Even knight g6, maybe? Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and start here. Pretty sure they're going to castle. And... I've got to believe that was a mouse slip. I've got to believe that was a mouse slip. That's unfortunate for our opponent. Well, it happens. You're from Greece and you love the, the content. Yeah, sorry to our opponent. It would have been an interesting game if they castled, I think. Um, feeling great supporting you. Good luck to your game and have a fast recovery. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's too bad. All right, let's 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 take a look at the game review. On this one since it was pretty short and I am curious okay 80 so we did mess it up a little bit let's see okay let me just turn on let me see over here so stockfish in this case won in bishop d3 first but I think f4 is not too bad okay yep not too bad d3 was good okay hey Matt welcome appreciate you I got up I got add two more members here Thank you guys. Awesome. Um, so let's see. What's the best move here? Castling. Yeah, castling is good. Okay. It literally shows castling as the top move. I'm looking at stockfish over here, and yet it gives it an inaccuracy. Uh, okay. Something weird is going on. Anyway, castling was a good move. E six. Yeah, F five. So I got a little bit over aggressive. Um, let's see, what was the best move? Queen to e1. Yes, interesting. So it's a different way of activating the queen. And this is an idea that I am familiar with. I just didn't think this was the time to do it. But it's it lines up on the e-file, which can be useful if you play a move like f5. Muscle bike. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Let me do this again. Um, so queen e1, it lines up on the e-file, so when you do play f5 and you take take, you're taking out the knight out of the game, which is very nice, because then the bishop can't take, because you take here, okay? The other thing is, sometimes you can jump over this way and start attacking stuff this way that you just can't do, because your knight's in the way. So, very interesting move, and I don't know, I didn't really think about it, but it makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. F takes e6 was the best move. Again, I don't know why it's showing it as a mistake. It's literally showing it as the best move. Weird. Knight takes e4. Yep, and now we're just totally winning. E3 was the best move. Knight e5 was really good. Oh, g4 was also good. Wow. Okay. And then let's say our opponent did castle. I think what I was going to do... What was I going to do? I think it was like bishop f4. Knight to g... Yeah, knight to g6. Knight g6 is the best move. And if the rook moves, ah, uh, now the queen can come over. And what we're doing is taking advantage of the fact that black's pieces are all tied up here. We've got a clamp on the e5 square. Yeah. And so, but what you can see here is it's not like you can't just blow them off the board when they play like this, right? You still have to kind of just follow principles, develop your pieces, take it slow, get a nice big center, get your king out of you know out of the way, and then you can start doing stuff. Now, engine didn't like that as much as as like the queen e1 move, but still it led to some stuff happening, and we were able to kind of take advantage of our lead in development. So, hopefully that's helpful. Okay. All right, let's go for another game. 1729, you still have a ways to go for 1750. All right. Okay. All right, so we do have a gambit that works fairly well. 
against the Karo Khan. Let's see if it's gonna see if it's gonna happen for us today. All right, F3. You guys have seen me play this many times at this point. Bishop G4. Ooh. Happens every time. I mean, not every time, but it happens a lot of the time. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Colonel McQuack, welcome. <laughs> nice name. Welcome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. We have two ways. Let's go for this one. It's more cool. They take the queen. Only move for black is bishop e6. And uh, even that, it's not great because then the bishop can't get developed. I mean, it has to be over here, but it's not ideal. So black has to play the only move, bishop e6. And the game goes on. It's still good for me, but black can survive and play, play a little bit more. I missed updating two wins? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. 196. I think you're right. You caught me live. You've been working your way through my videos. Nothing has ever helped so much. You're a great teacher. I hope you're feeling good today. I'm praying for you. Appreciate that. I always appreciate prayers, especially at this point in our life. Uh, all right, so they do play the, the move, the only move that survives. Um, still not good for them, but the game will go on. So this is a weakness. I'm trying to remember what's the best move here. I think we can probably just castle. We have this amazing knight now that can't be kicked away because of the pawns. Dun, 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 yeah, I think I am just going to castle. Looks pretty good. Activates the rook. I think black's probably going to play g6 or knight here. Okay, knight there. Probably going to plant my bishop here. Looks pretty solid for me. All right, let's go ahead. That's a very solid bishop. And you can see the problem for black is how do they get this bishop out? They have to do it this way, right? Because these pawns are not going anywhere anytime soon. And this is not the ideal way to develop this bishop. So that's really why this is bad news for black. Okay, they're trying to create some counterplay over here. I see that. I see that. I'm thinking about going queen d3 or queen f3, sacrificing the pawn because I have rook b1. It's kind of a poisoned pawn. Poisoned pawn means you, you can take it, but you really can't take it. So queen d3, queen f3. What do I like better here? The difference. More pressure on the F file versus yeah, maybe here it gets in line with this. So let's let's try Queen F3. Also defends the knight. So this, like I said, we have this move, and then the rook comes down, and that's just not gonna be good news for black. And he's gonna go for it. Alright, here you go. Rook to B1. Rook's coming in. Yes, I'm gonna lose a pawn here, but who cares? Uh the rook is gonna be too powerful for, for black. Look at this. This is a threat now. Black can't do anything with these pieces. And yeah, it's can't even move the knight because we have the queen coming in. I mean, I don't know what black's going to move. Should you sleep or keep watching the stream? <laughs> Probably should sleep and then go watch the stream uh, when you wake up and have time tomorrow. All right, folks. One, two, three. Checkmate in three. Who sees it? Checkmate in three. I'm going to let you guys try to find it. Checkmate in three moves. I look tired. <laughs> Yeah, I've been tired for like the last two months since all this crazy health stuff happened. I have not been the same. Anybody sees it? Yeah, some people see it. You see it. Very nice. If you don't see it, um, my, my first train of thought was jump in with the queen, but then the king's going to escape. But then I noticed that I've got it cut off which is a typical pattern when you're like doing a ladder mate or something. You have like two rooks, you know, and you have checkmate. If you follow that train of thought, you could sacrifice and you have the checkmate. So I don't want to make our opponent wait too long. 
So I'll just go ahead and play this. But good job to everybody who found it. I have to go here. Then we can sack. I mean, that's also a good move too. But this is just a cool queen sacrifice. All right. Good game to our opponent. They did um, fall for the trap, and so that one was pretty straightforward. Let's go 197 on the win count. And that was so quick, I think we can just jump right into another one. Uh, should we review it? Yeah, we can review really, really, really fast, really fast. Okay, so this is the trap, right? Right here, you cannot play bishop g4. There's two moves here. I think technically the best move is actually just take with check, then hop in, king goes back, and then you take this. And the position is just actually a little better for white. This one's cool. Knight to e5 is cool because if you lose the queen, you get this really nice checkmate, right? So that's that's fun. But the reason it's not as good is because black does have this move, and the game goes on, and even though it's really good for me still, it's not like totally winning. Black can survive, right? So he played the best move. F4 is not ideal. It wants queen to e2. I wonder why. I wonder what the idea is here. It wants the pawn there because why? Ah, you if you force the knight away, then you go to e4, and I guess black can't really deal with this. So what if they try to play g6? Chase the knight away. I'm trying to see. Why is this so amazing? For, oh. I'm going to have to remember this, because now you're coming in. So basically what Stockfish is saying is if you have the opportunity, you move the queen... To avoid the queen trade, you take with the pawn because once that knight moves, the knight hops in, you chase it away, and bam, you come over and you invade. I'm going to have to remember that. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah. All right. I think that's enough. Let's keep going. New game. 1735. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. E4. We'll see if we can play this a little bit better than we did last time. Let's see if we can. Is membership available on a phone? That's a good question. I think so. I believe it should be. Although, depending on what kind of phone you have, I, I feel like I remember hearing some people say that they couldn't do it. I don't remember if it was iPhone or Android or what it was. Maybe somebody can tell me that who has a phone and is watching on their phone. Okay, so he takes with the knight, which is not the correct way. I know that we need to take here. Notice how the knight does not have retreat squares readily available. The only one really is over here, which is kind of an awkward place for the knight. And you can't, some people do do this. I've seen this play where they come over here and they put it in the center. But it's it's an unnatural place for the knight. Um, the natural places are here, and this one's kind of weird. And it turns out to be, like, not the greatest for black. Yes, this is very common. Black thinks that they're going to get an attack. Um talk about this in my course it doesn't actually work because queen d5 is such a powerful move it hits everything and we have the bigger threat because this is checkmate the black can't really just you know ignore that and go for this obviously and so it's a winning position for white now depending on what black does we might have to do a little bit of thinking um, to figure out what the win is but i know for a fact this, this is a winning position for white Okay, so they go for this. I believe both of these moves are basically the same um, as far as what they accomplish. Oh, maybe king e2 is better because it leaves the square open for the rook. Yeah, that's probably true. So we're going to go king e2. And now you can see black's problem. They have to defend checkmate. They have to deal with the knight. 
and they have to deal with the bishop if the knight gets captured or moves away. And so it's it's so many problems for black to deal with. There's just not a good way to do it. Oh, DRR. <laughs> it went from 212 to 2120. That was a, quite the improvement. It's 10x his rating in a few seconds. How about that? So I think black could try queen h4 um, because it defends the knight, defends the bishop, opens up an escape square for the king. Yeah, it's kind of the only try. But I'm wondering what happens on knight to f3. I'm wondering what happens on knight to f3. I think that's probably the best move. We can also take first and play knight f3, but I want to keep the pressure on the knight, I think, right now. If I play knight f3, there is a check here, which is a very interesting move. If I take, the queen comes down, but then I take here, up to my bishop. Hmm. Is that actually a thing I have to worry about? Knight to g3. I can't remember. I know I've studied this, and I just don't remember what the move is. Um, let's think about this. Check. The king goes over. What do we do? What's our follow-up? G5. Nope. Doesn't cut it. Dun, 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 dun. Knight to F3. Check. Takes. Takes. So at that point, we would get two pieces. We're going to lose this one, though. That's what I don't like about it, that we lose that one. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I see, I see. All right, here, how's this? Knight of three, here, takes, takes. We don't take the bishop. We take this, check. Then we go check here, and that's actually checkmate. That's checkmate. All right, so that that, that makes me feel comfortable. I, I, knew, I felt like I wanted to play knight of three. I just couldn't get past that knight to g3 line. So, yeah, that's got to be the move. That's got to be it. So this happens, I would say, a lot when you're playing an opening that you've studied, but then you you either forget it or they play a move that maybe isn't one that came up, right? And you have to figure out, okay, you know, work out the tactics to make it work. But I think we found it. If I'm not mistaken. He's going to castle. Oh, if he castles, we take his queen. If he castles, we take his queen. He's got to do something with the queen. Or counterattack our queen, but that doesn't work because we can do this, check, and then take the queen. Like I move like c6, for example. Check, take the queen. So I don't know what black's gonna do here. Um, what's the problem with there? There seems like there should be a problem with that. What's the problem with that? Is it h3? Is it something else? Back. Probably h3. Basically, the queen's gonna run out of places to go. What I'm thinking. Although then there's knight to g3. Hmm. It's interesting. Let's we'll see what he's gonna do first. Yeah, he does go queen g4. So all right. I want to play h3 because where does the queen go? Right. That's what I'm thinking. Where does the queen go? If you go to here, we probably have b4. You come back here, you lose a knight. The move, though, is knight to g3, check. But we can take this. Then you can take here, check. But then we go here. We try to trap it, but it's not trapped. Ah, but the queen would be attacked. So he has to move the queen somewhere, and then we take the knight. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you, if you can ever get two pieces for a rook, that's good. So I'm pretty happy with that idea of... Taking and then running back here. So where else can the queen move? Here. Then we have g4, attacking the queen. Then it goes back to g6, or it could go back to g6 immediately. So maybe it lands on g6. Hmm. Interesting. 
what am I missing? What like what am I missing about this position? I, I feel like I'm missing something. I just don't know what it is. Rook to f1, forcing the bishop to leave. Is that an idea? And then we can what? It really feels like there should be a powerful move, and I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing what it is. Oh, people are saying queen takes g. No, no, no. queen takes g two. Uh, hmm. I was gonna say rook h two, but yeah, I guess knight g three would happen. So I guess on queen takes g two, you would have to just take the knight, and then if this, you take the. Oh no, that's actually interesting too. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, but I still feel like I'm just missing something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is rook to f1 really is a good square for the rook because it starts to become involved in the game i don't actually know i don't actually know maybe rook f1 is a good move I'm going to play one of these two moves. I'm just not sure which one. What happens when you forget your lines? Check. I go back. I think that's pretty safe. All right, let's play Rick F1. I don't know. I don't know. Queen takes f7, king gate, bishop g5, knight takes, takes the bishop. No, no, no. So that's going to be a problem because after the knight takes the bishop here, your queen's hanging. So if you take this guy, you lose a queen. Good idea, but it uh, doesn't quite work. Right, 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 right. Okay, so he's threatening this. Which, do we have a tactic here? Hold on, check. Go check. Takes, takes. Hold everything. I just don't see it. I mean, I, I just I just don't see it. It's so close, but I just don't see it. Yeah, now you have to worry about a couple of things. This guy is, for, is one. Actually, I guess that's the main threat right now for black. Okay. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I'm going to go ahead and take this now. And then I maybe I have to play G3. Yes, we play G3 to stop the threat. I mean, somehow it seems like black is surviving, which is pretty amazing, honestly. Pretty amazing. Because I've, I mean, I've played this against like 23, 2400s, and they usually don't survive this far. So I don't know. I must have done something wrong. Uh. All right, Black's probably going to go here. What am I going to do? Bishop g5, check. Knight takes. Queen takes. Can I do that? Ah, uh, but then there's always this guy. Uh-huh. This guy, that's a problem, isn't it? Now he's threatening to take this because it's pinned. 
it happens on h3 now then we lose this so maybe bishop f4 bends the pawn deals with the threat oh there's also knight to d4 check Ooh, wow knight here but then we go here this is so wild if he takes me here i could probably snag this my king's in the center of the board but Ooh, then I get forked. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Bishop f4 here. Where do we move the king to? Question. I've got to go there, except I can't. We go here, then this happens. I don't know what's going on. Do I have any other moves? Wow, this is wild. C3. No, but that doesn't defend this. Check. Do I have any tricks? No, I don't have any tricks. Okay. This is amazing. I, I'm just like, I can't believe this, actually. I actually can't believe this. Okay. Maybe I need to play knight c3 to get this knight out of here so we can play bishop g5. The knight's coming into d4. We're going to go here. And there's that though. Oh no, we get, oh, it's it's we just defend it's defended. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh if I don't play bishop f four, it is defended. Alright, I see. Okay, so yeah, maybe knight c three is a move. Maybe knight c three is a move. Oh, with this one I said, right? What am I doing to make against that? I don't know what I'm doing against that. I don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna make a move because we have to make a move. <sighs> this position is it's hurting my brain, guys. Ah, <sighs> gonna take this for sure. He's for sure he's gonna take it. What am I gonna do? I have to move here, right? No, I could I could move here. Takes takes, but that's the same problem that we saw before. I gotta go here, I think. This is defended. This is fine. No, I can take and take here. Man. Yeah, I'm losing now. I'm somehow I'm losing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You liked bishop f4? Yeah, maybe bishop f4 is better, but I didn't see on knight to d4 what to play without just losing a piece. I just didn't see it. Yeah. Man. We're going to get a little bit of compensation, but I don't think it's enough. And I don't, I, I totally messed this up somehow. I'm going to take this. Yeah. Fortunate. I wonder if I should have played bishop g5 instead. I don't know. I don't have time. I'm going to run out of time if I don't just make some moves here. I mean, it's possible black can mess this up, but it's unlikely. Very unlikely at this point. He's going to go check. If I go here, he's going to have an easy move there. So maybe I go here. The knight comes in, takes. And I guess that's a little tricky still for black. Let's try it. I'm going to try to come down here and take the pawns. Oh, he's going to do that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good move, I guess. Let's go there. Try to force the king to block the bishop. Because if it goes here... Okay, that's fine. Let's go...
Got to move, huh? I don't know. Man. Hard to find good moves in a bad position. That's the problem. It's just not a good position. Why did I? I think I should have played here, maybe. I don't know. I got to get the rook in the game somehow. He's going to do that. Okay. This. Maybe here or here. I don't know. I need to get this guy over here. This. This. Something. I mean, it's a win, but it's not a great win. It doesn't feel like a win. It feels like a swindle. That's what it feels like. It feels like a swindle. All right. We got we to analyze that because some, something was missed. Something was clearly missed. All right. I will put the eval bar on for you guys for this one. He makes the mistake, okay. Makes another mistake, okay. I knew that. I knew that, okay. So what did I not, yeah, what, five? That's a good move, but it's not the best move. I needed to take it and take here before the queen defended. That's what I needed to do. Then he has to go here, and now I can do this after I've gobbled up all the pawns and the king is in danger and this is always a threat. Yeah, okay. That's how simple it can get away from you. Yep. Let's see how if h3 was any good. Nope, queen g6. Yep. Yep, that was it. I just missed that little idea or forgot it. That's how fast it can get away from you. And then, yeah, I just totally, knight c3, I was supposed to allow this to happen. And just go here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's just nothing for black to do. So basically, this threat was so powerful, I needed to remove the knight. And not, not worry about this, because I have a safe place to go. Wow. That was it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to stretch my legs real quick, and then we're going to play the next game, which hopefully takes us to 1750. All right. I will be right back in just a second.
All right, folks, here we go. Last game. Let's do it. Oh, Bishop F4 is best? Okay, let's just look at that position real quick. Where was it? Bishop F4? Was it here? Yeah, but knight d4. This is what I was afraid of. This move. Oh, h3? Huh. This is so wild. Yeah, this is... You can't calculate this stuff in a 10-minute game. You just can't. There's too many moves here. Knight takes e5. Knight c5. Queen g6. I can't... I mean, I can't calculate this stuff in a game like this. There might be a few people on the planet who can, but not me. All right. Here we go, folks. Here we go. We're going to see the same trap again. We're going to see it again. We're going to see it two times in a row. Oh, the Evans Gambit, I forgot. Well, I can't play the Evans Gambit against the Karakon anyway, so sorry. But I did forget about that. You can't play the Evans Gambit against Karakon. Okay, he plays that Bishop of Five. That's a, that's a move. Doesn't fall for the trap. All played to our opponent. Surviving. Yeah, this line I don't like as much. I don't like this line as much, but I'm going to... Yeah, we can still do it. Still do it. Queen f3, I think, is the move. We're basically trying to take advantage of some of this stuff that's happening. Okay, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Black has to go here. And why is it a mistake? We take this way. We're threatening checkmate, and we're threatening the knight. But black has a, sa a saving move. They can block and save the knight at the same time. And if we take, they just take. Everything is defended. But what we can do, I believe, is sacrifice this first. We get a pawn. Then we take this. We get the bishop. We got our bishop back. We got the pawn. And now we take the knight. That's why it's a mistake. Black was supposed to go knight here, and I was going to take anyway. But then it's different because they have an extra defender. Okay. Well, 3-6, three, 3-6, six, three, six, but we have this move. I'm going to say we could trade, but no, it's even pawns. I don't want to trade anyway. The king is exposed. I want to keep the queens on the board. Queen c8 looks like the move. Bam. I'm going to take this and take this. We could also play knight f3 first, otherwise blacks, ooh, this is going to get kind of interesting. So if we take, black takes, we take, they take, we can defend, or we simply play knight to f3, threaten this, threaten this, threaten castling, and we still threaten that, but we don't have to do it right away. Yeah, that's got to be the much, much better option. Oh, but there's queen e6. Just saw that. Hmm. We're still going to get a huge attack in that position. We're going to get a huge attack because we're going to castle. We're going to move the bishop somewhere. We're going to bring the rook over. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. You're going to, if this happens, you're going to see, even with the queens traded, we're going to get an attack on the king. If he plays this move, I'm expecting. Okay, I didn't see that one. Oh, because I can fork it. That's why I didn't, it's not a good move. Yeah, this would have been interesting because I think we were going to castle. We're going to have this rook here. Something like this. I think we're still going to be in a crushing position, but this is just uh, game over immediately. It's going to put us at 1751. Take the queen. Is there anything better? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, good game to our opponent. So uh, I'll show you guys what I was talking about here. Right here. 
our opponent would have played this move. It looks good because... Oh my, I didn't see a move actually. You guys see the best move here for white? I actually didn't even think about that. Wow. Best move for white. Yeah, you guys are seeing it. Yeah. No, you can't go a fork. It's a good idea, but you can't do the fork because you're in check. But you can play 95. And it's a crushing move because after here you have a follow-up. Who sees the follow-up? What's the follow-up here? Why is this so good for us? Yeah. Yeah. Castle. With the check. Look at this. Look at this. Only move. And you can choose how you want to checkmate. Wow. That is some nice stuff right there. I didn't see that at all. It's one of those weird moves you don't always consider because I'm thinking, you know, my queen's attacked. I'm thinking I have to get out of the check. And yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that. It is pretty obvious, actually. Anyway, what I was going to say before I noticed that is that even after this, once we castle, black has to be extremely careful that they don't just get checkmated. Like, for example, let's say they play a move like this. I think we can maybe, I don't know where the bishop is best placed. Maybe here. And let's just say black does some random move. Look at this. This king has to be extremely careful. Because we're going to have the knight jumping in. I mean, I guess he can escape, but still. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is dangerous, right? I mean, my knight can come in here and here. So the point I was trying to make is, even without queens on the board, I guess that's really good. Um, even without queens on the board, you can still get a great position. That's kind of what I was feeling before I, or when I uh, didn't see this move. <laughs> All right, guys, we did it. 1751. We had a rough start. I got to update the win. Am I, did I update the wins or am I behind? I can't keep track anymore. Is it 199? Is it 200? I don't know. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the new members. We didn't get to 20, but we got to 14. So, hey, I'm happy. I'll take it. Take it. Thanks, guys. Oh, DRR. DRR to the rescue. There you go. Awesome. Appreciate you. Oh, Harry. Harry got a membership. Harry has been around since, like, the beginning of the channel. Hey, Harry. Good to see you on here. He gifted another one. All right. Let's go to 22. Appreciate you. I'm that's so cool that uh, Harry got one and every oh Arthur got one. All right, all right. I you guys have been around for a while. Fight ruler Frank, Farmer Six. Cool. That's so cool. I, I'm glad that YouTube added that feature. Nice. Take it easy, Luke. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I needed six. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, you made my night, DRR, and everybody else. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah, you too. Good night. You guys have a good one. And see you around. Um... Yeah, take it easy. How do I make sure to catch more lives? Um, yeah, right now I'm not really consistent on the timing. I'm con kind of all over the place. It's just a uh, random, but you can find them on the playlist.
there's one playlist with all these, so you can go find it and watch them all. Good thing you allowed gifts. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Six in the morning. Oh, man, go get some sleep. When will you be live next? Um, we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow or the day after. Is today Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, Friday. I have like some, I think I have like a doctor's appointment or not like an appointment. I have a, I have to go meet a doctor to pick up something, but um, I might be able to tomorrow. We'll see. All right, guys, take it easy. Yes, I'm going to end the live now. I was just giving some people a chance to, uh, to use their, their new memberships. So, but yeah, you'll get, you'll get more chances. Hey, thanks muscle bike. Appreciate you. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care. That's right. You got it. And thank you, DRR, for the gifted memberships. Appreciate you supporting the channel. It means a lot. All right, guys. Have a good one. See you soon.